So in the previous video, uh, we looked at how when we think about how to change society, when we think about progress, there's actually a very similar dynamic to how we think about changing our individual lives when we start thinking about happiness. We introduced this idea uh, between our capacities for control on the one hand, connection on the other. So that's our abilities to, on the one hand, change our lives for the better, um, to get and have stuff that we think is good and avoid stuff we think is bad, and on the other hand, to um, be open to everything we don't know, to gain a deeper understanding of what matters, insight into what's important. And when it comes to our society, we uh, primarily look through making changes through the lens of control. So when we have a issue like crime, for example, we think, well, how can we beat this? And we often use this metaphor of war or violence or dominance. How can we beat uh, crime by locking people up for longer? For example, having more police officers on the street. When it comes to health, we think, how can we beat various diseases by finding the cure for cancer? Or um, how can we beat mental illness by finding the right pills or therapies. Um, we do this when it comes to much larger issues as well. How can we beat the other side? You know, when we start thinking about political disagreement, um, we start thinking about how we can beat the bad guys when we're thinking about terrorism, or how can we beat uh, major crises such as uh, potential catastrophic climate change? How can we uh, control the environment, engineer the environment in order to beat climate change. So this is our kind of predominant way in which we talk about progress in society. And as I mentioned in a previous uh, video series on the happiness problem on, and post-happiness, is controlling things is not bad, it's not, it's, it's, it's a good thing to sort the world or to sort policies into good policies and bad policies and have more good policies and, and fewer bad ones. But control also narrows our focus. We begin to only look at um, the political arena in terms of the good guys and the bad guys, the good policies and the bad policies. And we fail to engage in a more open debate. We fail to kind of come out of our silos. We fail to um, see what other opportunities there are, what other things might matter in the long term. And certainly in our current state um, of politics in, in modern societies is we often have very simple narratives of who to blame uh, and very uh, quick fixes or, or simple solutions such as a technological fix or an immediate urgent action that we can do to solve the problem. But very rarely do these actually get at the underlying cause of the problem. So that's what control does in this circumstance. It, it narrows our perspective to uh, the short term, um, to sort of me now, rather than looking at the more longer term, the more systemic, the social conditions that maybe create these problems for us in the first place, our kind of us later perspective. Um, and we miss out on that. So that's what I call the progress problem, it mirrors the happiness problem. It's the fact that there will always be things we can do to improve our societies. Um, that's not a problem. We've seen through uh, recent events like the coronavirus, uh, like Black Lives Matter movement, that our societies are as fragile and as insecure as we are as individuals. Um, in almost every area of society that we care about, there's vulnerability built into it. And so we'll always find ways in which we can improve things. Um, the, the real skill of progress is to, to be able to see, and it is a matter of vision, um, the, the things that really matter, the progress we can make that really matters, the changes we can make that are most important. Um, and that's what uh, we are currently blind to a lot of the time in predominantly thinking about progress in terms of control what we can do now, immediately, efficiently, in order 
to solve our problems. So in the next video, we're gonna look at how we can bring the perspective of connection into our social lives, into our political discourse, in order to have more balance between control, changing things as quickly and sufficiently as possible, and connection, being open to what we don't know, understanding on a deeper level what matters in our social lives.